I'm giving you seven prospecting ways to make these numbers a reality, okay? Current clients. Every single one of your current clients needs to receive an email, a text, a call, and they need to receive a piece of mail, and they may need to receive two pieces of mail, okay? Every single current client needs to know what you do, and they need to know that you can help them with a solution that they're already having a problem with. They need help, it isn't hard. Your current clients, let's just say you have a book of 100 current clients, I bet 40 of them need your help with this, at least that many. So maybe you're off to, a, maybe you're grabbing those 47 apps just from your current clients and then you've instantly got 12K in revenue next year just like that, like clockwork because you worked your current clients, okay? But everything I'm doing, you could use for everything else and not just Medicare. You could use it for everything. So that's why I'm going over seven different ways right now. First thing is current clients. Unbelievable opportunity there. If you don't have any current clients, then you may want to keep listening, okay? Second way is warm market. You need to create a list of everyone that you know. I mean everyone that you know. You will thank me later. Don't think twice about this. Just do it. Everyone that you need that you know needs to be on a list. And then you need to reach out to them to see if they need help and also who they know that also needs help. So let's just say the call went like this, okay? I'm gonna give it all away today, okay? Aunt Betty, I'm helping a lot of seniors this time of year with everything going on. You know, I don't think you're, I don't even think you're old enough to have Medicare, right? No, I'm not. But you probably know one person that's probably 65 years or older or that's also on Medicare. Am I right? Uh, I don't know. Well, think about it for a quick second. If you had to think about it, who would you say? Had to pick one name. Well, you know what? I've got a friend that's 66 that I play bingo with every once in a while and she could probably use help with, you know, she's, pro she's on Medicare, great, right? That's a referral. Everyone in your warm market needs to receive a call, a text, a Facebook message, and a freaking mail piece, whatever data you have on them. If you can just call, text, and Facebook message, that's fine. But you have to do something. I'm telling you, this activity will add up. You will get business because you're active and because you're thinking outside the box and you're trying to do stuff that other people are unwilling to do. So that's the first thing, Adam, okay? Current clients, warm market. Now, events. Joey's doing an event where he's sponsoring a local event, okay? That's a great way to get your name out there. There may be, you could maybe throw an event. You could maybe throw a client appreciation. I know uh, a local agency that had about 300 people at a local client appreciation event and they're gonna write more business than they know what to do with from that. Not only on their own clients and help their own clients, but also all the referrals and the attention, everything else, and the friends and people they bought brought to that event, right? Or maybe there's local events in your community that you could sponsor or be a part of. Joey's gonna be a big sponsor and have a booth in an event because he's just thinking bigger, right? He's, you know, he's a stud. You could do a local, you know, event that you target, that you put up on Facebook, or maybe every week you're gonna be here answering questions. Maybe you're doing a mailing, you know, whatever. There may be an event that you could do to get a lot of attention in your area, okay? So think about the power of events. I love events. I think events can be super powerful. I think they can be a big help, okay? The fourth way is leads. You can get leads through my company, Secure Agent Leads, for Medicare season, because you're in Success Society, for $15.99. All we ask is that you do at least, you know, 50 to 100 leads, okay? If you can't do that, I'll honor whatever you can do. But typically, the only way people are getting like 17, 18, 19 dollar price ranges is when they're buying them in large bulk. I'm talking 100, 200 at a time. If I need to do, you know, 20 to 100, whatever, to make it work, or if you're like, hey dude, I need to buy a thousand, you know, maybe I can do an even better deal. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there because I know that you're gonna be buying, most people buy leads during this time of year. Most agents I know, they buy leads. And I, if you're gonna buy them, I'd love to be the you know, person that's able to help you with them, okay? So if you're gonna buy leads, make sure you at least, you know, get on the phone with me or a salesperson or Andy or somebody, okay? Because leads is always a great way. There's always, you know, that that's a great, that's like Joey said earlier, he's gotten 245 leads from us in the last 30 days. It's, it's an activity thing, okay? It keeps you busy. It gets you thinking outside the box. It gets you taking action. You're not sitting there, you know, twiddling your thumbs, wondering, okay, what, what can I do uh, this AEP? Okay? You need to be thinking ahead, which is why I'm telling you eight days in advance, because you need to have a blueprint, everything scheduled out and ready to freaking rock it. Okay? So, so, so leads. Okay? The fifth thing, fifth thing would be referrals. Everyone you sit with, everyone you talk to, 
Make it a habit. I'm trying to train my sales team out here right now to ask for referrals. Everyone you talk to, every time you talk about it, every time you talk to someone, I don't care what it is, you need to mention it constantly. I don't care what it is. Hey, I, 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 who do you know that can help? Who do you also know that I can help? Who do you also know that can help? Okay. Don't forget about referrals. It's a big piece. That's number five. Every person you talk to, you should ask. It should be habitual. It should be a freaking habit. Okay. Remember that. It's number six, networking. Networking is a super powerful way. Maybe you've got a networking group that you're a part of or that you can get a part of. Maybe there's local events in your community that you just need to be a part of and you need to be talking to people nonstop, right? Maybe you have a, you've started a drone networking group in your own local community with people that are in real estate and mortgage brokers and you know, a P, you know, if, you, if you're PNC, then a life and health agent, vice versa, a elder law attorney. Like there's people that you can be networking with and learning from all the time, Geraldine. Okay. So networking. The seventh thing is social media. During this time of year, people are thinking about insurance. So on your social media, you need to be putting up a video every single day. Get so active. I'm talking about even on your stories. Get so active this time of year. I'm talking for 47 days. If you take out Sundays from October 15th to December 7th, you've got 47 potential working days, Monday through Saturday, 47 document it, vlog it, live videos, pre-recorded videos, graphics, a trivia question, a poll, which of my friends are, you know, what, what, are, are confused about what options to, when it comes to health insurance and Medicare, right? Something. Get super active on your stories. I put up, you guys see my stories. If you don't, you know, come on now. We need to be. You guys know I put up 10, 15 stories a day, right? You can see them all at the top. All those little ticks. I've put up probably, I don't know, uh, probably, you know, probably 13, 15 today. You need to be active. It needs to be a part of you. Everyone needs to know that this is what you do and you can help them, especially if you offer Medicare during AEP. It is a must. But I wanna really talk about ramping up for AEP because in, 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 in a second, I'm gonna have some people chime in and help. Um, when you're ramping up during AEP, the, the big thing is most, there's a lot of people that are wanting to take advantage of this season because they can write 50, 100, couple hundred Medicare plans and get a couple thousand bucks a week, a month or more in, in residual 1,000, 2,000, 4,000 bucks, whatever, in residual income for next year. So it's a big time, okay? But even if you don't sell Medicare Advantage, it can still be a big time and a good time uh, because you can still focus on MedSup, right? You can still focus on final expense. There's still other opportunities. You can use that to get in and fact find. You can get in for another product and fact find for that. So I mean, the, the big the big pool with that group, Adam, is uh, during, during AEP is to really start to ramp up and figure out. That's one of the things I always talk about, which is what, which I, what I want to talk about today. And I'm going to end with events here in a little bit too, is what's your guys' target, right? For, for, for the rest of the year, maybe it's during AEP, October 15th through December 7th, or maybe it's for the last three and a half months here. Uh, it's kind of crazy every week. It just, it's, it, we get closer to the year, closer to the end of the year. You got about three and a half months, three months and three quarters, whatever. Uh, what's your target, right? If you're Medicare, then you got a target for AEP. If you're life, you got to have a target, right? I'm watching a gentleman, um, you know, in one of the groups that's doing, doing uh, $250,000 of life insurance sales over the phone. And he's, he's going to do some FE and term and IULs and all that. Uh, but he's doing 250 K in a hundred days. Uh, which is b beyond impressive, right? But because he has a target and he's striving for that target, he's more successful. My sales room, I challenged them. Um, I, I, I challenged them with some bonuses. I'm giving my sales guys, the, the leader for the week is gonna get 600 bucks, um, second place 400 bucks, and third place 200 bucks. So I'm incentivizing them with some cash bonuses. And by incentivizing them and doing a big sell, we're gonna sell more leads than, than we ever have before in history this week. So when you think about it, that's the psychology of really having a target. And so that's how you can really start to focus on ramping up for AEP, okay? One of the things you need to uh, not forget about during this AEP season, especially if you're in Medicare, is that it's just all about talking to as many people as you can, okay? I know there's some agents that have a big Medicare book. I mean, here in, my, here in our office, my dad will run I don't even know. I mean, I think I did the math. There's like 39 business days during the during during AEP. 39 business days. 
he'll probably run uh, 390 appointments. You know, I don't know. He'll run a ton. He'll probably write 300, you know, plus Medicare plans um, because he's got a big book of business, right? But there's some of us that don't have a big book of business. And then what are some things that we can do to ramp up for AEP, no matter what type of cells you're in, even if it's not Medicare, okay? Several ideas would be, um, you know, referrals. Um, from people you know or from people that are their clients of yours. Sending all your clients a piece of mail, okay? Multiple pieces of mail. Hey, if you love this, you'll love how to do a presentation for insurance agents. There's a couple pieces of this video that I've never talked about before. It's right here, click on it, you'll love it. Hey, almost every insurance agent I know struggles with objections, specifically what to do and how to improve your closing ability. So I'm gonna talk through several different things, okay? I always talk about 